to move a car, broke his leg basically. But there's a site come up that I would love to get. How much should we give for it? What have we bought? I'll tell you it's a potentially best car. Yeah, I'd say the best car. Clamps on. Yeah, clamps on to them. So yes, it is broken. Yes. <laughs> Silver focus on that ramp. Bank shaft sensor. That's our own personal tribute, I guess. Uh, a classic, a classic thing to arm many, many this uh, If we can get it on the left. <laughs> Reckon you should have one of these tables. <laughs> <laughs> little one across there. <laughs> Lose all your street cred. <laughs> The black one, I don't think it's sold if I'm honest. Uh, but obviously they both need to be. The black one and the red one. Yeah. 
That one two five ice sport plus is coming in. Yeah. Right. Two series in Melbourne right? it was with bloody lovely in Cuba. Like it's like around the edge is all like raised. Where so it started like coming away from the metal. We'll see what we can do. Dips car inside. What do you reckon? Is it going to be too dark? For some reason, like, everything at the minute is a little bit too dark. It's pretty darn close. I'll say that much. If it starts running, blow it. But, like, stuff has sunk into the outline but it's still higher than the sink instead of up here. Uh, Ta-da! That should come out pretty good. What's that for? Huh? What's that for? Parking sensors. Four stuff. Just go give Jason the box. You go, mate. Done. Fitted. Doing some offers actually on our next base dash cameras. And a little promotion out, free fitting. We've got a stock of next base 322 GWs. This is a GPS HD model with parking safety and things like that. So if someone tries to break into your car, it will start recording. Jordan bought a load of these, a lot of them, because he was going to have them on his van. Do you remember that van that he was going to do? Uh, yeah. He just abandoned it all, so now I'm left with a stockpile of next base dash cameras, which is not a bad thing, they're lovely cameras. But uh, I'm just going to run a little offer through January, maybe February. You can get this one, which is a front camera. You can get an additional rear camera, we sell those. You can get a backup battery kit, we sell those. You can also get, I think it's quite cool, be interesting for the recovery truck these. You can just plug in the side, they're like click and, click and go, click and play, whatever. Uh, and cabin camera so you can see the drivers you know you see those like dash camera things where someone's like crashes and just they fall asleep and then all of a sudden they bounce that'd be fun wouldn't it i'd like no i wouldn't like to see josh doing that but you know what i mean so that 135 pounds including vat including fitting and the hardwire kit all in that's the only price you pay 135 pounds fitted and then if you wanted the front and rear 380 gwx which has got all the features in the world uh 250 quid Fully fitted. I must be mad. But uh, you'll see these going out on the Barry Motors Instagram and Facebook page. If you don't follow those, then please do. I'd really appreciate it. You'll see deals like this in the future when I pull my finger out and do them. That's what I'm doing. Season season supply. Season season supply. No purchase required. Purchase is required. I'd say that's done. That looks fat. That does. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the sand part around it makes it look like burnt. Try and try and if we get to a point where we're never busy, or like we get so on top of things and like there's just spare time on a Friday or something. Like that. If we treat everyone to like a weekly car or like every two week car wash just to look after it. Mine is a problem. What? Um, I didn't say popular, I said a wash. <laughs> I had it with my Tika whatever earlier. You might have the sniffles later or tomorrow. Been outside. <laughs> So Tuesday, down the farm, I've done a podcast this morning with David Gott of the lovely car company. And
and Car Dealer Pro podcast and now YouTube channel, which uh, I'm a big fan of, so make sure you follow them. They've just gone over 2,000 subscribers. That's awesome. And our podcast will be out very soon. Apologies for the flickering light. I'm on the GoPro. Toby's not here today. It won't last long, so bear with me. Um, so I'm going to pack up now, head into the garage, and get on with all sorts, find out what's going on. I know we've bought a Skoda today. Macaulay's been off to collect that uh, from a dealership somewhere for our cars bought for more. Um, yeah, so I'm going to head into there and figure out exactly what's going on. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you there. Well, when he did it, he's like, I've put them on more of an angle, which I know you said you didn't want them, but you can swing all the doors open now. I was like, okay, well, as long as you can swing the doors open, I can already see that the SL500, that you couldn't swing that door open. Yeah. The Z4. The four in the corner, you, I literally couldn't get into any of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he put eight across there. I was like, you can get six. He's managed to put eight. Yeah, well, that's, that's what people when I park them up because there's no chance that no one else is supposed to. <laughs> well, yeah, or me. Come and help me, uh, Josh. Yeah, yeah, you can help me park them up properly. And then... I've been a fucking mess, man. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't know what it is about just wanting to get in a car and just do whatever and just move it or whatever and you can't get in it. Piss me right off. Yeah, it's, yeah. You're like, Ugh. I don't mind if I have to squeeze in the other side. It's a pain. But if neither side of them, I literally would have had to get two out to get into one. Yeah, but. Sorry, you're going to ask me that. I won't be quiet about that. Do you say they had a little part of changes around the back or something? Yeah, they had a little car block. That was probably like 10 in there, 10, 12 in there. Do you want to get it? Very much, uh, Jason speaking. What is some more? Bear with me, I will see. Tom calling from Carwell, I'm asking for you. Hey, Tom. Hello. Yeah. Uh, I haven't. I've been looking again today. I've, I've been busy, to be honest, but I will. Um, yeah, the plan was to. Uh, to make a, an effort, I'm just looking at a couple of days that I might put some bids in ready for tomorrow, sort of thing. But um, I have I have been on there familiarising myself, so um, yeah, I definitely will do. Will do, brilliant. All right, thanks, Tom. Cheers, Bobby. Yeah, which I can't see because obviously 
accused them to getting away with that. So we'll give them a call this morning then to say, you know, that. Just for the shoulders getting fucking yeah. broader. I'll the S1 out yeah, the other if you yeah. want. We're just doing a smart car. Well, so it's two of us on the S1. It's a, it's a two hand yeah. So at least two people do it, does oh, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. Because you can't be driving, listen well, for yeah. noise. Oh, I see, so yeah, 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 okay. You need well, yeah, to yeah, yeah. make the noise and somebody else. I, I, I don't want it to take to, yeah, to, get the, to get the get the stuff on the car. Fucking half an hour to put the car up in the air, attach it all on roughly where I think I want to wear it. So I keep the wire, I'll wait a little tune up in the car, let the car down off the ramp, go and drive. And if we can get that in, just because obviously one of us can come out in, in the yeah, car. Yeah, somebody just sitting there and actually drive it. If we could, if we could do that today, great. If it's not possible, it's not possible. Oh, I, I, we all, I think we're going to lose anyway, but it's worth a try. Um, Jace, your BMW Scirocco, all done and dusted. Tyre's just turned up for it, so we get Mark to do that when he comes back from MOT, uh, and that just needs MOT sorted out before MOT has it. Oh, I've got MOT. Tyre Rose has it. Yes. But there was no DPS fault. Um, no, I think we just wanted to do a recheck because the glow card. All right. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's all. So book your bits, PDI and whatever in the diary, but whenever. I'll, I mean, I'll put the MOTs and I'll pass them over again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, MOT for Soccer, call the Astro guy. I didn't want to phone Carmen. Speak to them about MOTs, because yeah, if they right. say, oh yeah, we've got loads of scope, they might be like, yeah, we'll do trade ones for 40 quid. Yeah. We'll save ourselves 15 quid on Wall Row, and they're actually look two minutes closer. Yeah. Smashing. Cool. Right. You can't put the MOTs for customers and be like, yeah, you can take your car there. The thing is, they might be desperate for it. They might be, or whatever you guys are. Well, we, we can put them. Two MOTs are still right doing that. That's probably unlikely. But you can book them for you, but you can come and collect them from us and pay us a tenant for the privilege. Yeah. And again, it's the failures and all the bullshit and the running around. Like, how much time are we going to save going to and from? Oh. I don't know. So it's just hours that we do. This is Oh, you got so like, car based. <laughs> Currently, all our advisors are assisting other customers just like you. We value your They're all such happy customers. <laughs> oh, I need to get parking sensors on that Corsair as well, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Parking sensors need to be fitted on that Corsair as well, don't they? We should do that as well. Oh, yeah, that's what's the phone. Nice job, George. Hopefully they'll give you a direct number. Hopefully. Good morning, Toby. How are you? How was your... Did you pass her theory test? Yes. Hey! Hey, hey! I don't know what that was. <laughs> Congratulations to Toby's significant other. Can you have a nice day without me? Bliss. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> that was alright. I had Toby... Not Toby. Josh. I'm getting so old. Josh was sat on the other side doing some work. Then he went out to move a car. Broke his leg, basically. I think it bent the wrong way trying to get in a car where... Jordan can squeeze in, but us bigger boys can't. So, good times. So, everything will neatly run, yet to be cable tied. Through here, out from the top, you get up in the nap. Again, yet to be kind of tidied. Well, we're just running the line behind all the airbags now. So, if you look up through this side, dropped the handles out so I can actually get behind the airbags and then it will come across to the front and then I've got to run a power from the front to the fuse box. The customer wanted it all hidden to give him the option of just using his cigarette lighter one but I was like no if we can hide it all so just adds another hour on top of fitting. a learning experience because I've never done a car this new but it's actually coming apart nicer than most older cars but that just came out so easily normally these are like a real similar to that and they're a nightmare to get out and they love to break especially around here loves to break but that is a really smart design comes out nice and easily Yeah, something like that. We've got plenty of length left. 
So now I can cable tie that all in place. Falling out. <laughs> Stress. I'm gonna go in the shop, I think. Do you want anything from down there? A pot noodle? Want anything from the shop? Anyone want anything from the shop? There's an offer you a tea if you want one, I'll make one. Anyone want more drinks? Right, before we hop into tomorrow's action, I just want to take a minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Vehicle Score. It's the free website that gives you a score on your car from 1 to 999 based on its MOT, age, mileage, and many other factors, as well as many other stuff that this app does. And I thought, maybe we'll have a look at this little Range Rover Evoque that I've got in stock. Actually, it's not really in stock anymore because we've sold it. I've had it a matter of a week and it's sold. There's been a lot of negative talk about Land Rover products and stuff in the news, but actually I've seen a bit of an opportunity with Land Rovers and Range Rovers at the moment because the trade values are through the floor. Everyone's scared of them with insurance problems, etc. But us being in the Southwest here, people seem to be able to insure them reasonably okay. In fact, this has gone to a young lad who is part exchanging his Skoda VRS in. So I thought, well, let's run this and see what we come up with. If I put in our registration of Foxtrot November 1-2, Bravo Foxtrot Juliet. Our score is 700 out of 999, which is good. Let's find out why it thinks that. Looking good, recent MOT pass rate is high, average yearly mileage is perfect, bad bits over two failed comments on recent MOTs, the last MOT failed, vehicle is over 10 years old, and mileage is above 80,000. Not by a huge amount, I don't think. It's interesting though, let's have a look at our MOT history. It's a good thing about this, you can find out plenty of information when you're looking at a car. So when it failed, January 31st, so obviously we've just put it in for an MOT, it failed on a headlamp and the tire and another headlamp. So nothing major, just minor prep stuff really. So I guess that's why it's parked here now. We'll get our prep done and it can go off to its new owner. Uh, on top of that, there's an AI mechanic on here. You can kind of say, my car's not running right. Why is that? And it would give you some answers, figure out how. We can check our ULES status. So I'm gonna tap that on here. It's not ULES compliant. It's a shocker. It is a 2.2 diesel. Wouldn't really expect it to. But having that on the app there is super handy. And of course, if I was buying this myself, privately or from a dealer, you want to do a history check so I can use the Ultimate Report Plus, which is 1197. Add my discount code Shifting Metal 20. And it is just £9.58, which is an absolute bargain and gives you £10,000 worth of data guarantee should anything be up with that car that it doesn't say on the report. They've also got a new feature for all of my car traders who are watching this video. You can now sign up for an account with them. If you email them at info at vehiclescore.co.uk, you can get a trade account set up, and I think they'll do the whole checks for about £2.39 each. So that's an absolute bargain, a saving well worth having. So make sure you check that out. Let's get on with the rest of the week. So 
it's now just gone three on Thursday, Toby tells me. I'm losing track again. We, we've been down the farm most of the day because we knew we needed to get editing done. What have we been editing? V Mitsubishi Gallant video because I filmed that yesterday. Toby's edited it today. I've made him change it all again and then he's re-edited it. So that's going out tonight. That's been uploading. It's actually got nine minutes left until it's uploaded, so that will be out tonight in plenty of time, which makes a change. One day we'll be like booked, you know, videos uploaded a week in advance. We don't, we don't have this sort of stress. You probably don't stress, do you? But I do. We did at one point. We did at one point, yeah. So why has your work ethic got worse? Got nothing to add. You got nothing to add? Oh, so it's my fault. It's my fault. Um, yeah, so we've done that. I edited together the podcast with me and Dave from Car Dealer Pro. Well, I mean, Toby edited that really, and I just put some bits on the end, but whatever, mainly my work. And um, yeah, I've been doing a bit of admin. I need to do a bit more, really, but I think I'm going to stick it out here, try and get some more bits done. Toby's going to head into the garage to find out what's going on because who knows? They're probably doing nothing. I mean, we kind of watch them on the screen. Some stuff's happening. I think Jason might. He looks like he had a test drive on something, so he might have sold something. Don't know. Toby's about to find out. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep cracking on. I need to. I need to hire another editor, don't we? Because I think I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, I'm staying here all day to edit. I'm going to stay here for another two hours to do straight editing, so the weekly's done. And I'm meant to be selling cars and buying cars, and I'm just doing video stuff. Um, yeah, I need to book another hotel room as well. Sound, that sounds weird. For our guest, in a very professional manner, if you're gonna to come to an auction with us, so that'd be good fun. Um, I'm gonna make a note of that, actually. Uh, extra penthouse suite at the Hilton. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I've had loads of meetings as well. That's the other thing. We've got loads of sponsors coming on now, which is great. It's hard to keep track of, keep everyone happy and whatever. I'm on for another podcast tomorrow. That's the James Sinclair podcast that's happening tomorrow. So I'm just making sure that my microphone works and things. And, yeah, that's it really. So I'll leave you in Toby's capable hands. He'll show you what's going on in the garage. And I will see you tomorrow. Where's KFC? <laughs> Normally what happens about <laughs> Pretty sharp <laughs> halfway through the day. Where's KFC? Um, so yeah, it's one of them. Morning, Dave. Morning. Morning? Yeah, morning. <laughs> morning, Dave. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna do fluids and everything, and then I'll head down. Right. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Let's go check oil. As you see, it needs oil. Oh. I need a funnel. This is the correct. It's it. Well, ignore this. But isn't that the oil that's in there, I don't, I don't believe. Yeah. That's just the container we use to transport it.
have we got any um, big washers or anything like that? Get in there. Give it a minute for it to seep to the bottom. I want to overfill it. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, to come out the bottom. <laughs> bit more. It's only, it's only halfway. How much have we put in so far? More. Give it a minute. Halfway. Yeah. So I reckon leave it, leave it like that for now. And I'll check it in the morning before I head off. If it's still halfway, then I'll top it up. Leave the water for later. Alright, he's talking to people. They don't know if he's going out to the farm. No. no. I don't think it has, but Mark was hoovering up the boot and found a load of black glass as well as water. Oh. And bin bags. And bin, uh, and bin bags. I, d I don't know what those are. I'm going to say that they're some sort of padding. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It feels a bit squishy in there. I don't really know what that is. It made the door look better though. So. The wing, and then there's a scratch in the corner. So. That's not like a tomorrow problem. Meeting. And then at midnight, morning. 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 My last text message from him yesterday was that he didn't think he's going to be in there. So, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I rang Jeff Brown's and Car Base. Nick's on the MOT at the moment. I'll just keep going over it. See if I can get that one. What did, uh, what did Car Base say? They just, just booked up for, I think it was like the 18th of February was their next day board at the minute. I don't know what you've had smart coffee at the time. That's it. I think, cool. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise we had it. And it's, it's over at his house. Yeah. Sorry, I spoke to the A1, S1 people, they're coming for a refund. Because we know probably know what's wrong with it. We don't diagnose, so. Uh, we didn't buy the BMW yesterday at Swarf No, I heard that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, it might have been something or nothing, but after what's happened recently, I thought no, it's just not risk it. The way you tried to describe it, it sounded a bit suspect. Yeah, yeah. I hope they don't turn the lights off, wouldn't then test right, because they'll come straight back on again. Yeah, and he's in the, uh, it was all in the reset menu as soon as he fired it up and whatever, so. Test drove the CLA and um, 13 plate Golf DSG 2 litre diesel or 1600 diesel, can't remember which. Um, 160,000 miles. Yeah, what's it trading value? What year was it? 13. Oh, 13. I bet it's still something stupid like four grand. Not far off, the three and a half is cap clean. Yeah. He was like determined to try and, he's like, oh, so we'll see if we can come to a deal when we're out of the test drive, see if we can come to a, an agreement, see if he tell me, he kept saying, tell me what I'd like to hear. Yeah, we got back, I said, so yeah, your car average is three, clean is three and a half, as long as it's all mechanically all right, we'll be three and a half for it. So what would you do on your car? I was like, I told you, that's it. Yeah, people need to understand, you can have a 
I, I, I've got, I do that, exchange. they get that. <laughs> yeah, you get more free part exchange, more money off them, yeah. you can't have that. I'm going to start saying to people, I used to do it a lot, is like discount our car because that way A pays less back and you've got the bit. Try and do that that way. And people do get it, they don't mind. Oh, we've got the Jazz coming in today as well. Okay. But I don't know that there's anything wrong with that. Hopefully not. Painting Mona Lisa. Uh, I think we're lending this out to a customer. But it's making it nice and shiny. Ah, you're doing channels. We are indeed. Oh, yeah. So smart. We're installing NOS. NOS? Yeah. You can see that. Huge scratch down for. <laughs> shiny stripe down the door. Not too bad, thanks yourself. Sorry, I hope I haven't mucked it up by joining in then. It's probably it's probably to a degree changed since I put this application in because to put it short, I got the car sales business off the back of that. We do the car buying, trying to buy people's cars, a bit like a we buy any car type thing. It's called uh, shifting metal, as in the play on the he shifts a lot of metal selling cars. It's all about the car trade, um, the cars that I buy absolute nails, like look at this piece of rubbish we've taken in or... So yeah, it was raising capital, I, but what I now... I, I, was by, I was leasing an MOT centre, etc, but that's fallen through. But there's a site come up that I would love to get. It's kind of in limbo what's happening with it. A big kind of car chain has moved out. Oh, hello. How's it podcast? Very good. Oh yeah. God. Yeah, we're, we're the bosses today. You must be busy then. Yeah. Or you're on your lunch. Uh, yeah. So. Jazz is here. Okay. Absolutely. Typical Honda Jazz got like mostly Honda service history, like touch of the gearbox a few years ago. How much did we give for it? Three hundred fifty quid. Three hundred fifty good. Bargain. That's a bargain. Here's a bargain. Um. Cap clean for a good car. What's cap clean mean? Cap HBI is a company. Yeah. Cap HBI is a company. Cap stands for current auction price. Oh, okay. That's so what they're stuff. selling for? There's, yeah, like Jake said, there's clean, average, and below average okay. ratings. Well, Cap clean really should be the most you ever pay for. Obviously, it doesn't work like that. Because hey, then the most you should ever sell it for is Cap retail, but then obviously Auto Trader retail is quite often higher. Yes. I do enjoy Auto Trader. You enjoy Auto Trader. <laughs> <laughs> I just spent a lovely evening playing all the yeah, trains. I, 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 like an hour. Well, yeah, we, we I've got an old um, Profanosaurus. You know, Roger's Profanosaurus from Viz, you ever heard of that? Yeah. I've got an old one, and it says, it talks about getting butterfly wings. And it said the, the sweat stayed left on the seat when a bloke spent an afternoon perusing the auto trader. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, you just said you can't just go by like cheapest and just see what apps you make. Is that it swollen up or is that the brace? No, that's the brace thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so where is this? 
Jazz. Should we go and have a look at it? No, it's over there. Over there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, keys are hanging up. Oh, that's the trailer. Nice. Trailer over there. That's it. Get the green back out of the way so we're not blocking it over there. The 208, it's not the 208, it's not the 208. Oh, that's the other side. That's whatever. Yeah, very small hatch, right? Okay. Uh, something was going down, wasn't it? Jason? What was? So it's going down. Hold the jazz. Hold the jazz, I'm talking about. I don't know if you want to get it clean first or just take it straight down. I only spent the last 10 minutes talking about it. Yeah, I'll come out and have a look at it. Yeah, I don't know if it needs a clean first. Well, what is that? Could you do with a clean? Where's all the dust paper, Burke? In the right place. But, um, how much do you sell that for then? I don't know. It's probably worth 1200 quid at least. Yeah. With a new MOT, if it's good MOT, 50 quid. Yeah, if it's tidy, it's good MOT, 50 quid, it's got to be, isn't it? Too bad, mate. Sold. When can you get rid of the money? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just, so I've just been on a podcast with some oh, yeah. like a business experts, I think, and we were talking about everything. Yeah. And he's just kept banging on how much he liked the name Carswell for more He's like, ah, this episode's been sponsored by Carswell for more. We never had a sponsor before, but there you go, sort of thing. I think he was just, he thought I was trying to promote it. Yeah. And I was there trying to say, I could do it with more money because we can't cope with the traffic that we've got and he's going to yeah. give us a load more traffic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey ho. Hey ho. So is it a worthwhile expenditure? Yeah. Most notably, I was just saying to him, like, as the kind of business and property acquisition expert type thing, what do I do about Brent Knoll? Because I don't yeah. want to miss it. Yeah. That's about, I've, really, I've already done my usual approach, which is phone him up and be friendly and tell him how interested I am, and follow them up with an email saying, I'm still really interested and would love the site, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I don't, if I call him again, it's just pestering yeah. him. And he says, and I said, oh, you know, try and buy it. He said, well, try and lease it first because they want the cash flow coming in they probably don't want the whatever but try and get yeah. it in the agreement that you could buy it at could some point it. five years or whatever yeah uh, but he, he kind of did what I was thinking but I was like how do you do it and he just I was thinking could you get an estate agent to go out and value it even though it's not your property sort of thing but he just said just go in and tell them roughly how much you think for this would be worth yeah and then you know agree a value and agree a whatever and just say look I can give you four grand a month so who's and been, um, who have you been liaising with? Is it their property? The owner, but he obviously oh, owns direct. a lot. Yeah, he owns a lot of property. Yeah. And, he, and he's, he sells a few cars as well, by the looks of it, which is like 150 grand Bentley Bentaygas and stuff. He's obviously just got half a dozen of them on the driveway of his yeah. mansion. It's a bit yeah. of a hobby type thing. He's obviously got a lot of money, which is what this guy's saying. It's hard to kind of motivate yeah, those people with money. So he said, so I'd appeal to him and be like, I'm really interested, this is my story, and this is what, yeah. this is what you know, just yeah. try and get Is he local to yeah. He's um, Gloucestershire. He did say he'd go and try and see him in person, yeah. which I would do, but that'd be a bit weird. Just yeah. turning up at his house. Just rock up. Yeah, we'll knock but on his door. And my, <laughs> the only problem is that he said to speak to um, like a commercial agent, yeah. which I could speak to like Greenside Taylor Hunt, who yeah. I bought the land through and whatever. My only concern is you'd speak to them about it and they're like, oh yeah, it's probably worth this much or whatever, and then they're going to find the phone number and try and solicit him. Yeah. Yeah, and then they get their commission on it. Because they yeah. they don't want to, if they think you want to buy it and you might want to sell it, they would go straight on to him and say, well, we can sell this for you. Yeah. And then they'll be making you know, 20 grand. You know, because the telephone number's at the front, they can just go and get it. And so it's his number, literally just on the Mobile number, yeah. Hello. Oh, glad. Yeah, the camera's there, you'll do it properly now. You'll be my eyes for me before you, or am I getting out? No, I'll help you. This has about four horsepower. Whipped one of these across the entire coast of South Africa. They're absolute weapons, mate. Yeah? 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 I love T1 days. Get close up, yeah? That last click, ready? Oh, Josh, you see the peak? Yeah. 
Huh? Have you seen the, this feature it has on the side? The feature? Yeah. Pre-installed reflector. Huh? A pre-installed reflector. Pre-installed? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. That's just from like, aerodynamics. Yeah. Oh, we I'm really disappointed, I thought you did. Can we get the viewer's opinion, right? <laughs> what looks tidier, like okay. here, they've also got a like that, them. right? Double folded and put through, clicked up nice, yeah, all legal, tidy, or this crap. Toby. You this just... crap that's all like fucking. Yeah, do, do you know what? Josh? Bit of wind comes Josh. along, and it's Josh. all like. Yeah, a... and that's just flapping about down the motorway. There's a reason people don't like you. Yeah. Um. So, Toby, the reason I don't do it like that is because when you fold it over multiple times, it puts a lot of pressure on the locking system. A lot of pressure. That doesn't allow you to lock it properly. You have to really squeeze it. I don't think that's unsafe. The design not to have pressure put on them. And Josh comes quite along. Quite literally designed for yeah. pressure. Yeah. That's probably. quite literally what they do. Huh? No, do yeah. you really think that's better than this? Yeah, because it's locked down. Mine locks down? Yeah, we've got to squeeze it. Yeah. yeah. As long as it locks down properly, that's the important thing. Yeah. 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 So they both lock down properly, which yeah. is better. Have you seen the new style ratchet traps? The ones where you don't even have to take the... Oh, it's like a ratchet thing. Yeah. I've not seen those. Oh, I really like over what's Is it all wrong? See if you can spot what's wrong with the rear disc. Oh, where's the brake pad? Well, there's a bit, there's the a bit where it's no longer circular. Like the actual chunk that's missing off the top of the brake disc. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, it's corroded. So they've not got a red car carrier as well as the kind of thing. Well, it's the problem. the green front brakes. Cool. Look at this, Toby. Some people might say that Chinese companies' names are hard to pronounce, but... Wen Zhao Kaiwao Electronic Commerce Company Limited. Not too bad, really. Like this one. Fo Shanahana Quin Chishina Shalao Kon Hang Wang Zing Zeng Chaka Chaka Chang. So, that's no big deal. It's only about 30... I mean, I think that's... That's basically alphabeti spaghetti, isn't it? They've just used every letter. What about this one? Shenzhen, Shaimi Chuan, Chen, Diang, Zhuang, Zhuang, Zing, Gongzi, Long Gang, Gui. Like, I haven't got. We literally would be here all week reading that out, wouldn't we? Or this one. I mean, that, that's just an address, I think, probably. But definitely some interesting names on there. Amazon, that good old American company. Accounting. Have you seen the state of this office? We're living like animals in here, aren't we? There's just merch. Can people please buy some. Shifting metal merch. This is all mugs. There's that's shifting metal mugs. There's Paramotors mugs down there. This is all stuff for promotional stuff to send out. There's a dash camera there for some strange reason. Or Jack Butel's merch, the racing driver, is just down here somewhere. But that's something like nice. We've got a Merry Christmas card. What on earth is going on? Should we open this? Very nicely, a free gift from Right Tools for You. Saw the guy struggling with a, a ball joint thing, and me involved as well, levering on the bar. I, did, I didn't even know what we were doing. I was just putting my enormous weight behind their efforts. You know, that's that's a leader from leading from the front, not just telling. No, I, I just sit in the office to be honest. But very kindly sent this out. Very tall. Some are very well wrapped. Oh, look at this, we seem to have a selection of bits. Ooh. 
got some inspection mirrors, so you can check your undercarriage, Toby. We got uh, some trim tools, they are always super handy. I think we can make a gift of those to Jordan, because everyone else has some already. And this is, I assume, steering knuckle pinch bolt drift. The drift is like a thing you hit. I know a lot about mechanics. I don't really know how that works, but we'll give it to the guys on Monday. So thank you very much to the guys at Right Tools for you. Can highly recommend. I think they're US Pro Tool specialist really. So if you're looking for that sort of stuff, check out the website. US Pro Tool stuff is actually pretty good. Dan's got a whole collection of it. Kind of maybe not quite snap on quality, but for the money. Very, very good value. So I'll enjoy being the mechanics favourite people on Monday when I give them these gifts. I mean if they're all here. Adrian hasn't been here for most of the week, has he? He's sniffly. He's been very unwell apparently, so we won't we won't mock him until we know that he's actually healthy and then we'll mock him endlessly. Um yeah, let's go and put it out there in their toolbox. Trim tools. Has a mouse been eating your. Probably. Well, it's been in the car. Thank you very much. Alright, I'll just hang out. I've got my drift. Pinch bolts on them. Yeah. Because yes. everyone saw us struggling or whatever, and apparently yes. that will fix the problem. Yeah, so that horrible, horrible bolt at the top. People seem to think that I know what I'm doing when it comes to that sort of stuff. I didn't, I just came out and yeah, hung off the bar. Got, I don't think I've got one. That Audi's not got the same setup. Oh, that's worse than I've had. Toby encouraged me to get a. Um, like a desk tray for all the bits of paper that would lie around. So I got one. It doesn't really match my mat thing. Um, but it's nice having a bit of thing in there. But it just got full of rubbish. Now Jason said that he thought it might be for him. Like he quite like it. So I'm going to... Generous guy that I am. I'm going to sacrifice it for Jason. But I just... Look at this. Padded. So that your paper is always in comfort. You could sleep in that. If you... I mean you could. I couldn't. But. <laughs> Camera. I gave him a nice camera to work with as well. Look at that. Just lobs it around. <laughs> yeah. Lovely bit of kit this is. Look, look at that. Look at that sort of stuff you can do. And hey ho. Because yeah, this is Jason's filing system apparently. So oh, you could, what you could do actually is a nice place for that would be over there, wouldn't it? The thing is, if he's using Stuff like that. Would it fit? Oh, it does. I mean, not much of it. Not all of it. <laughs> we need another one. Bloody hell, mate. Right. Just stuff it's not, on. That's not too bad. At least you can, like, if that's not on there, you can reach it. You can be like, yeah. So, um, that one. I brought a gift in for you today. Yeah. yeah. It was given to me by. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought, if it fits your wrist. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey, hey! I mean, it's not real. When he bought himself a real one, he gave me this fake one, but it's a very nice fake one. It's very weighty. I'm to be surprised if you can lift your arm with this on it, to be <laughs> honest. But, I used to wear this all the time, but if I was to take my one off now. And it does just about fit, but it's... I think if I flex my wrist too much, it would just break off. Meat wrist now. But I bet it would be huge on me. It does need a battery, I think. Well, we'll wait till Derek the Watchman comes in. <laughs> I just thought you might like a, a tag. Yeah. Fancy, mate. It's nice quality, bruv. Ooh, it is actually quite heavy, to be fair. Oh, yeah. I gave it to Derek the Watchman, who deals in dodgy watches. Like, Could you put a battery in this? So the batteries he uses obviously aren't very good quality. 
and he took it away, put a battery in it, came out, he's like, you know, that's real, you know, don't you? I was like, it's not Derek, it's just, it's just like a quite good, ah, that's real, mate, that is. I'll give you a gram for it. I was like, mm, do I rip them off or not? And obviously I did. <laughs> but yeah, so good that he thought it was real. He thought it genuinely was real, and I know it genuinely is not. <laughs> the person who gave me that would not have given me a real watch that was worth any money. <laughs> okay, right, end of day, Saturday. We need to do a best cars bought and best cars sold. Best cars? I'm just thinking of cars bought for more. Best car bought, best car sold. Our little hundred pound smart cars fixed, look. It's got a door on it again, Dan fixed that, so that can go into use as its MOT running car. Um, what's the best thing we've sold? I I, what's happened this week? I never seem to know what's happened at all. What have we bought? I'll tell you it's a potentially best car. Yeah, I'd say the best car. Sold. Jason has just sold the black polo this morning, which is a nice one to sell because we've had it for a little while, no fault of its own, but because we kept lending it to people because it was cheap tax um, while we were sort of using it as a courtesy car for a while. So that's been back on now. And we had two people here today who were trying to buy it. Yeah, so that sold this morning, but yeah, we had someone else here who was a bit disappointed because they turned up to view it at the same time. But first come, first serve, unfortunately, that's the way it works. But, oh, I thought that was it. I was going to say this, but it's not. This must be another Skoda at table we've bought. But we've now sold the VRS uh, Skoda at table. You saw us buy from BCA Nottingham. Uh, so that's now sold. I think you sold that yesterday. Um, it's a really nice car. I'm surprised it stayed this long, to be honest. They normally don't hang around very long. And best car bought, I'm trying to think what I bought. I haven't bought too much. And we were gonna pick up a nice two series, um, but it turned out to have a bit of a, it was a bit of a shady one that. It had engine management lights that had clearly just been cleared. Luckily, Josh picked that up. He wanted to get in the car and test drive as he always does. And they're like, nah, no, te no test drives. And he's like, well, we won't be buying it unless we can test drive it. Got in the car, as soon as he turned it on, it was in the BMW reset screen where you can reset your warnings so that was a red flag straight away plugged his scanner in and everything as well and turned out it had swirl flap problems classic bmw so we didn't end up buying that it was a shame because it looked really nice melbourne red uh, lovely little two series coupe so we didn't buy that but that just goes to show that if you are in the trade and you want cars picked up you buy cars from motorway car wow etc give us a shout because Josh and Macaulay are both trained to check these cars, make sure they're not absolute pups and you don't overspend for them. So the last couple of weeks, that CLA, we ended up getting it cheaper because the paintwork wasn't as described. And this car, for example, you know, we could have been stuck with a car that needed a new engine or something. And obviously that's not what you want when you're trying to run an efficient business. So don't forget to check out barrowmotors.co.uk forward slash transport. And those same people who did that, our transport guys, also picked up another Corsa VXR for me this week. I bought this one out of auction, BCA Blackbush, I think. Our last one didn't hang around long at all. I saw this one. It's basically exactly the same as the last one we had. So I thought, I'll have a bit of that. And I'd be saying that. In fact, this month, January, is always very hard to buy cars, especially at auction. And it has been, generally speaking. I think I managed to nick this because uh, it didn't have any service history with it, but I think we can find some. And I thought I'd take a chance that some may actually be in there anyway. Um, so yeah, that was one that I managed to get. I haven't managed to buy too many others. Just arranged a deal with a guy to buy a 200 pound Citroen Zara Picasso on Monday. It does have MOT. I mean, I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any more crap, but it is 200 quid. I don't think we can lose too much. So maybe we'll do a video on that next week. That'll be it, I guess. Right, so everyone's left, just me and Toby here. Toby's here because he's got to fit a wheel to his car because he got a flat tire last night and he had to put your, did you put your space saver on? So he drove all the way to work at 55 miles an hour. It got 80 miles per gallon though and actually got more mileage. The range was higher by the time he got here to work than it was when he set off. But you've just got to swap that wheel over, haven't you? You've got a key and a, and a code, haven't you? Uh, yeah, so I guess, oh, we're about to have customers come in now, even though we're shut, or are they going to walk past? So that is it for this week, another eventful week. Oh, check this out. What was I f Where is it? We've got an advert in our local magazine. 
This is Coastline, Breen and Barrows Community Magazine. I think it costs us about 160 quid for a whole year. So that's, I guess, 12 episodes? 12 episodes? Is it episodes? No, not episodes. What do they call them? Editions. 12 editions of the magazine going out, telling people that we buy cars and things. So if you are a trader, this sort of thing can be... It's not a huge outlay for anyone, is it? 160 quid for a whole year to put a thing in there saying, like, we buy cars, come sell us your car. And in fact, I think that's where our £200 Citroen Zara scrap car, basically, came from. But still, it proves that it works because he said, oh, I saw your thing that says you buy cars. And I think he meant in the magazine that's just gone out, the February edition. So, top tip for you there. Old school, you know, sometimes the best school. Toby's laughing at me, but that's because he's an actual child. Um, yeah, so that is it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget if you want to sell your car, carsportformore.com. If you want to buy some merchandise, shiftingmetal.co.uk. You can also listen to the podcast there, by the way, if you want to. So, a new episode, a couple of new episodes on there. Uh, if you're looking to buy a car, barrymotors.co.uk. If you need transport, just add a slash and transport on the end of that. And Josh can give you a quote, get back to you on that. Don't forget, if you are out there looking at cars, make sure you've got vehicle score on your phone. You can use our discount code Shifting Metal 20 You get 20% off of history checks. But you can also use the AI mechanic and get a score for a car completely free. I think that's everything I've got to tell you for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.